What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of War cast. We are a Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. Hey, I'm Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Fates and Beats. Welcome to the shit show. Gentlemen, first on the agenda. Shots. Shots. Cheers. What are we shooting? Jack. Jack fire. Oof. I said, no, it's you. Tall stack every time. Yeah. Man. Oh yeah, dude. Gentlemen, how we doing? Oh, we're doing great. Good. Doing much better than last week. <laughs> oh, buddy, you know, <laughs> wasn't the same. It's still peak. Well, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're still in the thick of peak right now. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna tell you this. Busy. Like huh? because you still got your normal orders. Like people are still ordering shit through the normal. Like, hey, this is how I normally get shit. Just order it through him, and then. Fuck them. Anyways, uh, but you still normally order your orders, and then you're just like, oh, wait, I need to get Christmas gifts. And so then you're just doubling it. That's all you're doing. And the bigger stuff, I don't really deal with. But your day-to-day shit, every fucking day. And it's just like, come on, people. You don't really fucking need this sticker pack right now. Shut up. Like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you don't get your you're, sticker pack. You're not gifting this to anyone right now. This is just selfish. Get your last days of war stickers. Link in the bio. What? 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 Did it? Imagine you were picking those orders. <laughs> Fuck, man. Well, this so is going to my house. Uh, a couple weeks ago, a game dropped called The Day Before. You and Josh both don't know what this is. <laughs> nope. But uh, I'll give you guys a little insight on it. So this game has been in development for about five years. And I personally have been keeping up on it because it was this promise of like this open world MMO division style type game. You, um, if you've ever, I don't know if you've ever played the division, but <clears throat> it launched and very quickly people realized it's just a shooter extraction game it, and it plays nothing like the trailers they were showing. It was supposed uh, to be an open world, yeah, it was like to be zombie world. survival game. And it didn't turn out. That's not what it is at all. And they like the worst glitches imaginable for a day one drop. So they released it and it was terrible. Yeah. They just released it. They hyped it up like a week before to get a few more extra sales. The problem is, is everybody's saying that it was just a scam by the developers to get money. Like the first day drop, we're going to get as much money as we can. And then we'll just fucking disappear because that appears to be what they did. Uh, It got such bad reviews that like, they were actively trying to get them all taken down. It's, there's just too many. It's the worst reviewed game on Steam. Yeah. Yeah. It's the worst reviewed game on Steam. And uh, it just sucks, dude, because I was really looking forward to playing this game. <laughs> I was really looking forward to playing this game. It's my it's my style of game. Those are the type of games that I like. And, uh, you know, the developers, they claim that it's not a scam. People are like, yeah, bullshit. Look at this. Why would you hype it up to be what it's clearly not? Another, another week before it drops and they just bolt it out and I guess apparently people are asking for their money back but they're like no uh, we're gonna just fucking pay off our debts that it costs to make this well game. I think the studio's closing yeah I think they just announced like it was a complete flop and now they're shutting down yeah so so on Steam you can see the numbers of who's how many people are playing a video game apparently yeah. at, at, well, I don't have I don't have Steam so I'm assuming that's how it works 90% of their players drop like stopped playing the game like a half a day into that game dropping dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, really bad. So I got so my question to you guys is do you think the consumer has a lawsuit here? Like do you think that they could sue and possibly win something for being lied to like that? Or can game developers just kind of do whatever the fuck they want? It don't matter. I think if they were lied to, they should they yeah. should be able to get their money back. Uh yeah, I think that's a cool feature nowadays is that uh, when it you know, when uh, social media advertises a game shortly after or they advertise a product, there's usually a correction comment that says, this gameplay is nothing like what is advertised. Don't buy it. Don't believe it. And it's just highly promoted. And you're like, 100%. Because there's been times where I'm like, oh, that sounds like an interesting game. That's what it looks like. Cool. And you're just like, what the fuck am I doing playing this? And two years later, and you know, 250 bucks later, you're just like, what the fuck am I doing playing this? (laughs) 
so then you just fucking delete it. But you realize, like, God damn it, this is nothing like the commercials. Like, why did I invest so much time into this game? This isn't even what you're like. Duh. Has there been a game that you uh, you were anticipating and it just flopped for you? More recently, the AEW wrestling video game. Mm. Yeah, it's it wasn't what they. I mean, for what they were shooting for, they kind of got it, but they were hyping it up like, "Oh, we're gonna drop it. This is just the base game. We're gonna add more features. We're gonna add more this, more DLCs coming." And just the way they've been handling everything with this launch of this game has just been god awful. People feel lied to, like yeah. you know, like this, you know, why are why are there game modes that are in the story, game matches that you can play, like a triple threat ladder match in the story mode, but I can't do that in the exhibition. And it's just there's such they gave you such a stripped down version of a game that they've been working on for four years, five years. Yeah, four or five years you should have yeah. that. Yeah. And you should you should have that shit down, right? You know, and they just remain silent online. They don't say much. People got to, it's only because of like. But do you data. want them to be like Wendy's on Twitter? Dude, that'd be awesome. That'd Wendy's, be on, fucking, Wendy's on Twitter Like if amazing, everyone dude, ended yeah. up being like Wendy's on Twitter, you're just like, ah, oh, dude, we'd all be fucking done. Yeah. Like everyone would just be like, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's the way it should be. <laughs> like, hey, I bought this. It doesn't work. Well, what do you want us to do? Yeah. Uh, well, Shut I don't up. want this anymore. We'll go take it back to the store you bought it from. Shut up. Uh, so that, that for me, it's the AEW game more recently. Was there one for you that's like that? That you were like so hyped about and you played it and you're like, this is not what was advertised. Uh, I think the last time I really felt that was when I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, Rockstar Games, every game. And they're like, here's table tennis. And you're like, <laughs> fuck yeah. 100% behind this and it's just like dudes in their basement playing fucking table tennis <laughs> and you're just like uh, oh, it's Pong look how they've evolved Pong it's essentially what it is and it was like a fuck you game like this is how we've evolved video gaming that was their first oh, me. video game was table tennis and you just see the ball just ding 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 yeah. and you're like this is Pong Fucking Pong, dude. What about you, Danny? Do you have any games you can think of? Tiger Woods Golf, dude. Really? Yeah, well, okay, no, not all of them, because that game, that game was badass. But, and then, and then... Is I, there it a was, time frame that it was badass? The PlayStation most, 2 era. Most of, a lot of it, but it's when they got to the, uh, I think it was the Roy McIlroy one. Mm. That thing dropped, and it was just like, what the fuck? They had, they didn't yeah. even all they need, all they could have done was just updated and and made improvements. And so, if you like the old Tiger Wood games, the new, well, it's the newest. I think it dropped last year. Two uh, K did. Uh, I've heard PGA. about this. Yeah, I play that game to this day. Okay. It's it's awesome. Yeah, that's an, it plays just like the old school Tiger Woods games. Didn't you also promote the AEW game? I did when it first came out. I was super stoked about it, dude. I was, and now he's unhappy. And, and it bums me out because I still get this game. I'm still hoping that it's gonna drop. <laughs> well, you know, you don't have the best just, record, pal. No, man, <laughs> that, 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 that that golf game is amazing. But yeah, man, I just yeah, I'm still I'm still hoping that they're gonna drop something to see, patch for me. Up. The Tiger Wood games, like I said, for me, they just fell off, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm with you on that though, because I, I used to love those Tiger Woods games. They were awesome. Can you give me George Carlin as a golfer? That'd be fucking like ironic and hilarious because I I kind of stand with him where it's just like all it is is a game for rich white people, you know? Like we're going to whack around the tiniest little fucking ball but need the most fucking real estate. Like, oh, yeah, no, we fucking need all this. Like, for what? Ooh, we're going to see this ball? See uh, that ball? See a little tiny ball? We got nothing in that But did you like the video game? No, like I, I thought the whole. Th I think the. Don't get me wrong, white people. I love us. We have some great morals and common sense most of the time. But, what about video games? But when it comes to fucking sports, holy shit! Okay, golf. Yeah, we're gonna piss off a bunch more fucking people. Golf is a fucking nothing but a waste of real estate. 
if you think about it. Put homeless communities in the middle of your fucking golf course. Walk around that. Hit around that, motherfuckers. Go fucking play in that. Let's see what hazards you get now. I love golf. Golf is amazing. I miss playing. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Uh, poor Mexicans can play it too, Rob. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> is there a, is there a video oh. game that uh, you, you, got, Josh? you got into? I'm just loving the stare down he's giving you. How <laughs> you like fucking golf? I love it. I'm not a golf fan. No. What about video game wise? Is there ever a video game you played oh. where you're like this? Fuck this. Probably that Texas Chainsaw game uh, where I was disappointed with the story mode that you have to play online with people. You can't just play by yourself. Yeah. Can't play with yourself, huh? No, I wanted yeah, to cut people off alone. They don't allow it, dude. Those are the worst video games. No, but hear me out. Oh, where you have to play online? Well, hear yeah. me out. Like, there's times where, like, I'll play Fortnite, and then it's just like online's not available. But here you go. Here's a game, and I'm just like, mm. I, essentially, I'm just playing with myself, right? And they're like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just out. Like you're just like oh, I'm just fucking playing with myself. I don't. Want, I don't want to be that guy. So you won't. That. You won't play the campaign on a game. No, just playing with bots. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like where you're just like, oh, see what you can work on. Cool. Have you ever played the bot game to like practice? No, no. When you play online, you do get bots. You'll get bots that all AI, AI players. Yeah, yeah. The, the, but I, like on like on Halo. Uh, infinite you could you, there's a game where you could play it it's like a ranked against people and then there's like a bot game where there's a team of like four people and you're playing against oh, four okay. other bots mm. so it's like it's almost like a training you know what i'm saying you're not in the ranked matches you're just playing yeah bots no i mean i mean i don't play ranked like i i'm just like you know i'm here to have fun to be, dude. not play not ranked. being able to play in rank it's just people when when no, my but, experience in playing ranked on anything is people just find whatever fucking glitch there is in the game to take an advantage to win. Because oh, yeah, all they want to do is win. Doesn't matter if they're having everybody's fun. Everybody's got to be the best, and yeah. everyone's got everyone's a unique snowflake, and they got to be on top. And they I like be... I like when we used to get together in one big house. And yeah, dude. Play. Couch co-op. Sixteen. Bro. Yeah, he was. Bro, best, look. Man. Let me tell you this. Like. Internet Days cafes, are bro, different remember? because we used to get together and some of us used to actually bring over a fucking TV and mm -hmm. be like, okay, hang on, where do you want me to set this bad boy up? It's like, oh yeah, here we go, it's going down, we pizza's on to, the way. We had to invite the guy that had the fucking, the internet, the switch, to yeah. be able to plug everybody in. No, bro, like, I had a buddy, he, he had a back house. This is perfect. His back house was two fucking rooms. It was like you walk in one to the left, one to the right. And it was like, cool. We're putting two TVs in here, two TVs in here, and we're all going to fucking play each other. And then we can come outside. We can have a cigarette. We can talk. We can have a soda, drink, talk, whatever. Go back in and play. And they, were, like, they were nine. Bro. It, <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. We were nine. <laughs> bro, we were... We were teenagers. This was fucking heaven. The fucking lower cats were just like, you want us to play? It's like, yeah, we need a seventh and eighth man. Look at what we're dealing with here. We need fucking help. Yeah. Cut Can off. we switch up teams? No. <laughs> and you're just like, fuck this. There's very few games that are made with the intentions of couch co-op anymore. Right. And honestly, it's one of the big reasons why I think the AEW game is kind of struggling because that's that was their intention was that they want you to play with your friends in the same room and enjoy like the N64 version of video games. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, the one thing that kills me is when, when my kids want to play together, we can't play in the same room. Like they got to go in that room and they want kids over here. And it's just like yeah, split screen is not even a thing anymore. Do you know what, what I'm saying? What? Some of them don't even have that. The because you can't play on the same television. Some screen. some games don't even have a split screen now. It's oh yeah, no, they're no, they're no longer Goldeneye or Halo <laughs> yeah. friendly. Yeah, yeah, you have to literally play. You have to have your own account. Yes, that was a yeah. Big that's thing. the biggest Each thing. Each one of and my I'm children like, has okay, their own so Xbox I... account. Every single one of them. Yeah. So that we I'll tell play. you this. Here's a stupid story. My uh, grandson wanted to play Fortnite with me. He's like, "Here, you got it on your Xbox." 
I got it on my, my Nintendo Switch. Let's link them up. We get everything linked up. And he's like, Papa, can you hear me? I can hear you, buddy. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. What happened, buddy? What happened? I was just hearing you. It was Everything was fine. Next thing I know, he comes out to me. He's like, oh, I dropped it, and the controller broke off. And oh, I was like, no. oh, and we're down. <laughs> it was just we were like, going and we're done. it was like the second we got up and run, it was like, yeah. Okay. Oh, we celebrated too hard. Mm. Damn it. <laughs> Halo, th- Halo, the, I don't think it's Halo 3, whatever the newest one Infinite. was, the, the newest one that dropped. Infinite. Uh, they got a lot of backlash because it was the first Halo game that they didn't have split screen on like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they is, they didn't have a co op. Or campaign. they said they were gonna do it. They were gonna bring it back, and then they, they didn't. They yeah. just they were just like, no, we're it not. It took them a while to come out with a co op for it. Yeah, I think they finally have it. I believe. I think that's what it was. Yeah, was it was the first the Halo co-op. game without co op at all? Like not even like online. Yeah, like, was, like, yeah, there was. Even I don't even think. There, yeah. So, so yeah. I think they finally released it, but it took them a bit. It was kind of like, why did you guys take so long on this? You know? I got through like half of that. You game saw the like, jungle texture. Did you play it? Yeah, I I liked I liked the way Halo kind of you know you progressed, and this seems like a little more kind of open. You could kind of go where kinda you want. Yeah, yeah. And it, I don't think it. I don't think it works for it as well as some other games. Yeah, I feel like most games are just like, we got to do open world because that's what's selling. Hey, guys, here's something that's kind of open world, but not really. So it's going to probably suck because we didn't commit either way. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> so. I, yeah, I just, it, it, it wasn't as good. Wait to a minute. Be as so you're telling me Halo. we could take any game and just rewrap skins and then sell it again? Hell yeah, dude. What happened was Mario Brothers. We should do the Left 4 Dead series and see if they'll do us. Wait till I tell you about all the mods. No, no mods. No No, mods. I'm saying there's a whole thing there. It's the same damn game, but everybody mods them and, you know. Let's do a mod for Left 4 Dead 2, but it's all the guys from The Last Days of War. Yeah. There you go. We'll we'll model for it. We're in. Want to do this fan question? Want to hop into this fan question? Yeah. Go ahead, Danny. Uh, Let's see. Alex from TikTok asks, what would be your dream festival you guys would like to headline? This is going to sound dumb, but anyone, dude. If I feel like if we're able to headline a festival. No, 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 no. Pick one. Pick one. He's like the backstreet back tour. Um, I mean, if I had to pick one. Back in sync. I don't know. Or in sync street. What would you what would it be? Bro, dude, imagine festival we played with in sync, bro. I'm fucking just off my uh Ozfest back in the day would be cool. Os- yeah, an, Os- an Ozfest would be dope. Okay, but is it Ozfest if we're headlining? <laughs> well, I mean, there's been other bands that have headlined it. That's true. The one that I the one that I went to, I think Sabbath or Ozzy. I yeah. think there's been some that he I don't think they're there. He played a few. I think there was a few he didn't even wasn't there. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Uh, just the thought. I, I can't wait to just play a fucking festival in general, dude. That's yeah. that, man. That's fuck. Have either of you guys played something like that? Festivals? Uh, uh, I'll go out on a limb and say Renaissance. If we could play a Renaissance festival. Bro, I had no idea what his answer was to for a split second. I was like, what? Play the Renaissance festival? I'm down, let's do it. And we do like all like 1600s instruments, (laughs) but sing the same songs. But in. (laughs) But like 16th century. I don't think it's going to work, bro. I don't think that's going to translate, bro. Fuck yeah, it would. And (laughs) that's the movie we're waiting to have right there. Like, why are we making it, bro? (laughs) What's the click going to be? (laughs) <laughs> right? The kid with the click. <laughs> <laughs> hit him again. How do you get your intro we have, rubbed? We have way too many you hit him, you hit him in the time you need. What's what's the the least amount of tracks on one of them? It's, it's, it's breaking the mold, right? Heathens. It's Heathens? Yeah, Heathens uh, doesn't have... There's just a piano going on. Uh-oh. 
as far as tracks go on that. I mean, there's 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 some other effects and stuff like that, but mainly that backwards it's... Nobody cares about the band. That's not why you guys listen to this fucking podcast. <laughs> oh, dude, we're in a band, bro. Fuck oh, we geez, are? Well, let's talk way, about it. By the way, dude. Hey, uh, I got a hot take here. Hot take, How's hot your take. wiener? What? Is that what your card says? Why would your card say that? It sounds inappropriate. It says uh, It actually says blondes have more fun. Maybe. I'm not blonde, bro. I'm not blonde, but... Real blondes? Yeah, because there's the fake blonde. And it's just like, I never said I was into that. <laughs> I was like, well, you're supposed to have more fun. So that would be my question. Real blonde or fake blonde? I, I don't think so. Probably not, dude. I think that's a stupid bullshit. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. You think so? Mm-hmm. Go, go, bro. Go. I just say, like, if you see a blonde in a bar, you already know what a blonde in a bar does. And it's just like instant attention. Instant attention. Here, how white can I get? Like, what if what if they do platinum blonde now at this point? Huh? What if you're not into blondes? Yeah, bro. Now what? Now what? (laughs) Even if you're not into blondes, they'll still do blonde and you just like I personally got my attention. I personally have the perspective that Brunette's has. Mm-hmm. See that? I'm gonna go with redheads. See, I'm married to redhead. <laughs> I will tread lightly, then, sir. <laughs> you married a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, man. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no. Um. Y- y- yes. Yes, you married a psychopath. I mean, no. But for the, for the good reasons. For the good reasons. And hopefully, you know, statistics say 67% of the time you're good. Yeah. <laughs> I got a hot take for your house. He's, he's swarming, I, okay? I'm Libra. I like to play the evens, but I like the odds. You know what I'm saying? All right. I got a hot take, you guys. Okay. Going out on a Saturday night is better than staying in. Um, it, I would say this very much depends on what age you are. <laughs> and what the fuck you have going on Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Just, it's all about what, what's going on on Sunday. Well, Saturday, fuck yeah. Here's what we're doing. We're going out. We're going hard. We're going to go fucking party the night before Sunday night. WrestleMania, and you're just like, mm, I'm gonna go easy the night before so I can enjoy my Sunday and remember what the fuck happened because I paid for tickets and shit like that. And you're just like, ah, oh, no, nah, man, we're gonna go fucking hard the whole fucking time. And you're like, mm. I'll tell you right now, I go for a few friends, some drinks, and Cards Against Humanity almost any night over going out to a bar. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm not really a go to a bar person anymore. I used we to. We are all married. We are all married. That's what I'm saying. This, all, this, well, this but, but the answer to this before, question is all, before all I was younger, age, I would have rather you know? done. No, that but like out, I'm just you know? saying, like yes, we're gonna go out to a bar. Like, I'd rather I'd rather do the pirate party any night over. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. But oh, over a night of Xboxing. Well, no, but I mean, over. Going hey, listen. Out here's what we're gonna do. It, it, listen. Back in the day, oh, <laughs> back in the day, it was either, "Hey, do you guys want to get together and play video games, or go to a strip club?" All right. How soon are we doing this, and how much can I save up? <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. All right. So. Here, We'll so plan we it. Play video games. We had to play it, plan it out in advance <laughs> if we were gonna do some shit like this, and it was like, y'all need to go to Vegas, because back in the day, Vegas used to have this spot called Insert Coin, and you walk in, and it was an arcade bar, and it was like they had the video games at the bar in the center of the building, and along the outside were all arcade classic games like. When you walked into an arcade, it was like, oh, hey, here's the video games, and they're all around the wall, and here's some, like, Dave and Buster style, like, in the middle type games. But this place was fucking amazing. 
the problem is, is that club ended up shutting down and now it's like a 21 and up and we need to see ID in two forms of identification. Now you can go inside and here's a waiver. You can't like, don't say shit. Go. <laughs> what? Wait, what? So you're just like, uh, what kind of place is this now? Like, what's going on? This is a place in Vegas? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Like in... Okay. Uh... I do do I want to come in? I don't think I want to. This isn't the video game. Uh, I'm good. I'll go across the street. You were, know? There, were there any blondes there? Were they having fun? <sighs> so many. So you much tra- fun. You, you, Way so much fun. Were you or are you guys still currently strip club guys? You like going to like, Did you ever like going to strip clubs? Oh, yeah. You ever been to the Glitter Gulf? I've, I've, been to, I've been to two. Well, I've been to strip clubs on two occasions. I'll say it was one time when... When I first became of age to go, my brother-in-law took me at the time. We went. It was cool. Good time. And then the second time, I went to like a strip of strip clubs in Louisiana. And it was because my friend who I went to go visit there worked at one of them. So she got us into all of them. Other than that, I've never been like, let's go to a fucking strip club. 100. Yeah? 100. No, support people. Um, so you can humanitarian, bro. <laughs> no, but like... <laughs> We we would go to a place. Um, I don't know if we can name drop, but we would go to a place, and this is like, I'll tell you this: it's right across the street from our giant railroad track area. Are there three ugly ones there? No. On the sign? No. no. Is it? It's closed down. No. Oh, never mind. No. Okay. Still there. Okay. Across the street from a railroad track, okay. and then. Uh, Bro, back in the day, they had $5 pitchers. I'm like, hey, come in on Mondays. We'll give you $5 pitchers. I'm like, you guys showing the game? Yeah. Thank you, Kim. Will you show Monday Night Raw? <laughs> when is that on? Right after the game. Monday yeah. night. <laughs> cool. Imagine at, at the strip club, some chicks. You, you're going to the strip club front to watch like, wrestling. Hey, Stone Cold. <laughs> Go away. Well, but like. Rock's talking. <laughs> but like, if, if all your buddies just said, hey, we're going to go to the strip club. Cool. Go. And now we go to the strip club and they have pool tables and they have strippers and they have a bar. And you're just like, cool. What are you showing on TV? Wrestling. Oh, hey, we're just going to show sport highlights from all the fucking sports all day long and it repeats every fucking 40 minutes. Cool. Can we throw on something different for right this minute because they're showing it right now and then you can flip it back to whatever the fuck afterwards? No. Here's 20 bucks. No. Yes. Okay, cool. And so then they'll turn on the wrestling and you watch wrestling and you're just like, cool, I'm entertained. Like I can, I'm just sitting here chilling. I've had girls come up to me and go like, hey, honey, did you see this? I just, I was just up there and I go, hey, let me tell you this real quick. I just did a magic trick. Do you want to tip me? What? Well, I just did a magic trick. You were up there doing your thing. That's great. You did beautiful. It was an amazing job. But I was down here doing a magic trick, and I showed them all this magic trick. And I'm trying to collect money from them. And right now, you're trying to collect money from me. So right now, do you want to give me the money from them that you're going to give to me? Or do you want to fuck off? (laughs) And you're just like, oh, wow. I was like, where's this going? (laughs) Do you want to fuck off? Right where I thought. Okay. Yeah. And it's well, I was like, the only dude at the fucking strip club with the boner watching wrestling, dude. Tell, tell him to fuck off. Get out of the way. Stone cold. I got a boner. I got a boner. Do you think fuck I was really thing. fucking watching you? Like, who is it? Talk. You the know. Dudes and tights over here, man. Get yeah, away. but there's different. <laughs> no, but I'm saying there's different promotions that will attract you to an establishment. For me, it was the... Three dollar cactus coolers at the time, you know what I'm saying? Or like the three dollars. So it wasn't the boobs; it was the cactus coolers. Had nothing to do with the booty holes on stage. No. If I told you the city, you'd be like, oh, <laughs> "Never mind, you're good." And I'm just like, "Yeah, it had nothing to do with that. It was like just the deals and the cool people that worked there." And it was like, "Yeah, there's chicks walking around with their tits out, but that's what they're paid for." Cool, go do your thing, girl. Yeah, that's not what I'm off. here for. Fuck Some of them are something to good look at, but you're just like, I'm not here that late and I can't afford this much, so I gotta leave. So what part of telling the fuck off is supporting them because you said you went to support them? 
He's just he giving him the, the hard facts. Y'all running the C he's squad the, tonight. You like, know what I'm saying? This conversation started with him saying support him, right? <laughs> and with the that, out here. and with that, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Maybe if they're family, I don't know. Oh man, that's what? No, is that too much? What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's we the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the uh, Facebook and threads. Yeah. Those are all The Last Days of War. And X is The Last Days of War because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. We're back, guys. Uh, last week, we talked a little bit of uh, Christmas horror movies. And I figured Christmas is coming up in a few days. We might as well talk. The top 10 traditional Christmas movies of all time. Uh, Let's talk on. about Christmas traditions. Let's quick. go. We can, we can do that. Real Let's quick. Go. Real quick. A, go. a Christmas tradition of mine, shots. I like, I like how you did that. What are you Cheers. doing here? Cheers to Christmas to being alive again. Ooh. <laughs> so this list, once again, I'm not sure if it's a numerical order or not, but here we go. Oh, it's a Wonderful Life being the first one on there. That being it's like a fucking classic, right? Oh, yeah. It's a Wonderful Life. You've seen it? Yes? Heard about it? I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Every time a bell rings? Uh, Angel gets its wings. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, like, the dude, he's like, ah, throw the last sir on the moon. Fucking hey, we're going to play 24 hours. No, that's not the movie we want to watch. Okay, what movie do you want to watch? You like It's a Wonderful Life, Josh? I don't think I've seen that one. No? Yeah. Really? I know of it, but really? I don't think I've seen it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think because if, you've watched, sure. if yeah. you've watched movies in the last 50 years. Like, I know that scene you're talking about, but I thought that was in Miracle on 34th Street. I'm on on that same boat where, like, I hadn't seen it. I know it's a classic. People love it. And that brings us to the next one being Miracle Miracle on 34th 34th Street. Street. That's a great movie. Because I've seen that movie. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah. That was was one that I watched a lot in my childhood. Yeah, what about you, Rob? Not for me. No? That one wasn't for me. Like, I grew up uh, with Scrooge. Well, Christmas Carol is the next one. No, but Scrooge. Right. Like oh, the, the, oh, the okay. The darker take on yeah. it, and it was like, because I was more of a Tim Burton esque, like Beetlejuice, Batman, and here comes Scrooge, and you're just like, fuck yeah, Bill Murray in for the kill on this one. Like it was a darker shit. version of it, and it was just like. <laughs> All right, I feel this one, but uh, but that's just my take on it. For sure. Christmas Carol. Anybody seen that one? This is the 1951. But I we, think there was a remake, right? But we get also yeah, multiple I mean, that's versions done, of that's it. That's what I'm saying, so yeah. Many, yeah. Um, I mean, maybe we can just talk version. about whatever version you guys want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, but. I know they're talking about the 1951 here, but yeah. like, there's yeah. been so many version, good versions of it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't know if I've ever seen any of Christmas Carol movies. I think that's a little bit the fun. Jim Carrey one. There's a Jim Carrey one. Christmas no, Carrey? no, no, no. There's the cartoon Jim Carrey one. No, no, that's Grinch, right? No, there's a cartoon one. Yeah. Oh yeah, so no, there no, really no, is a yeah. Christmas Carol oh, one. Okay, I, I it kind of looks like Polar Express. Polar Express. Oh, okay, but it's all CGI. But it's, yeah, animated. Yeah. Never saw Polar Express because because it looked creepy to me. It's a good movie. It looked creepy to you? Yeah, yeah. just the whole. Animated, I don't believe it. Animated shit Tom Hanks a good movie. It freaks you out, huh? Yeah, it freaks me out. Him driving a train. I've seen enough Tom Hanks movies to know whatever he's driving, it's not going to end well. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> but you trust Keanu Reeves. I like this. Every day, dude. Right. I pray he, to him every night. He stopped a bus. Quan Wing. That would have blown up. Yeah, no. But Speed was dope, dude. Yeah. Speed 2, not so much. Don't watch that. Yeah. No, don't, do that. don't watch Speed, Speed 2. Yes. He wasn't in it. He no, wasn't it. That's what I'm saying. Don't watch it. Speed. The first speed is amazing. No, you gotta trust my boy. Oh yeah, dude. So White Christmas. Anybody seen any White Christmas movies? <laughs> 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 
That's not what the. Is it not the fucking? Yeah, no, <laughs> there, there's a movie called White Christmas. It's not <laughs> talking about every yeah, movie yeah, being yeah. a White Christmas. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> let's let's tread let's lightly. Let's tread lightly here. All right, here we go. You know what I mean. <laughs> And the next one is Charlie Brown Christmas. Now say my name. Dude, Charlie Brown Christmas. Hell yeah. My kids watch that. You're Charlie Brown. Yeah. You're goddamn right. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, a, that's a classic with the whole, the little tree. Yeah, dude, the yeah. tree and Charlie mm-hmm. and Bean Brown, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> for me, it's probably just different because of my generation would have had to been the uh south park video that kicked it off the santa versus jesus <laughs> dude like that has to be on this list Look. santa think, versus jesus has one of the greatest ring announcements ever when he's like jesus el savior christ i don't <laughs> like, know if that made this particular <laughs> list but yeah dude it's, so it's the little short they put together as a Christmas card and sent it to all their friends, and they're like, you got to make this into a fucking show. And that's what turned it into South Park. And if that's you've amazing. Ever seen this, like, we saw this in high school, and this is like, fuck yeah, it's whoever made this. <laughs> and they just ended up getting this show on Comedy Central, and you're like, fuck yeah. And then, yeah. Hell yeah. Here uh, we are today. The next one being How the Grinch Stole Christmas. To me, any Grinch movie, it's the one with fucking Jim Carrey. Dude. That's yeah. the Grinch movie that I'm, that's my go-to. But before Grinch that, movie. this was the one. You know what I mean? Like, for me, like, this is kind of the top Christmas. Who, do you know who was in that? I don't even know. It's a cartoon. That it's version. A cartoon. It was, oh, it's a cartoon. It was, it was like Dr. Seuss cartoon. Oh, I know which one you're talking about then. That was okay. it's what yeah. his Kevin's the, watching the and Home Alone. Like the original, yeah, it was really good. It's great. Okay. That, that's a good I mean, one. I agree. There's there's a couple of different versions of it that are amazing, but like, yeah. Dude, just fucking Jim Carrey killed it as the Grinch, dude. Oh, yeah. So good. What's the guy's name? Jim Carrey. No, no, no. The guy from the original Grinch. Uh, Ravencroft. Uh, oh, I, I forget the... Tony the Tiger guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did all the uh, voices. Uh, did it for Disneyland. And he had the deeper voice. Like, mm-hmm. right. He, he, he was hey, like. That, huh? that was yeah. like Andre the Giant impersonating. No, Tony but he, he, just had a, he just had a deep presence to him. And it was like. So they had him sing the songs. and So, so he, that's him singing on that song? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. I didn't know that it was the same dude that did Tony the Tiger. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds like the voice he used with me. No, I can hear it now. Yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. One of my all time favorite Christmas movies, Home Alone, dude. Yeah. Home Alone. Can't go wrong with that, bro. I thought you were more about two. I am more about two, but Home Alone is great. Home Alone is great. It doesn't say Home Alone 2 up there, bro. I saw a video. Surprised I didn't day, make the list, to be I honest. I saw a video the other day where somebody paused. Uh, a part where the father was cleaning up and he throws throws he, away his he threw away plane ticket. The plane ticket. That's why when she counted it's like in the whatever. trash can you see it says Kevin. Yeah. yeah. So the dad That's the reason why when up. they handed out the tickets in the car, nobody noticed that his ticket was missing. Because his ticket was gone because dad threw in the trash when they were cleaning up the pizza that the night before. That that got spilled the night before. Yeah. No way. Fuck. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the dad threw his ticket away. Nobody wanted to bring Kevin. Get the fuck out of here. Dude. Nobody was suspicious. One of my all time favorites right here too as well, the Muppet the Muppet Christmas Carol. That's my shit, dude. The one that we were talking about last week. Wait, didn't you say down here that you've never seen a Christmas Carol? No. Okay, no, so, wait, it's Christmas. so hold on. Dude, this it's is the same, right, right, it's the same, okay. it's the same story. So, you, so, but you know but this, the story. Oh, this is called the Muppet right. Christmas Carol. Right, right, I know, but, but overall, whether, whether or not it. you see one or the other, you know the overall yeah, I know the story. Yeah, yeah, the overall story line, arc, plot. Yeah, yeah. For sure. gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so you, I was going to say, holy shit, how did you escape? Not no, I've just never seen, seen like any like, any other versions of it other than the Muppet one. Right. <laughs> Clearly. Which is well, the most important. But it's I'm saying important. you at least know the plot <laughs> of what's yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. It's fucking yeah. what's his face, bro? Fucking Alfred. What's his name? Michael Caine. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like I almost said Michael Keaton. I'm like, that's not right. Michael Caine. The Santa Claus. You're much better than that, Batman. <laughs> How you guys feel about the Santa Claus? 
That was funny. Yeah, good. Yeah. I mean, there's 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 a few. Aren't they doing a uh, series? It's on, a Disney series. It's, a, it's, a, it's on. Plus? Yeah, they the first season was last year, and I think they're dropping the second season soon. If it's not already out, yeah, I'm sure it's probably out. It's good. Is it with My whole, It's with like all the original cast from the movie. They're just older. Yeah. Like is it, yeah, and is and it, you know, don't, yeah at some point aren't they all coming in all the you know the, the yeah looking for a paycheck yeah <laughs> are they all coming in just <laughs> yeah. hey what can yeah. we do now the you remember about, us the other thing about like tim allen stuff that bums me out now is just the tim allen that we have currently so you know so it's kind of like ah fuck that guy <laughs> you know so yeah, yeah, that's how I feel about that, and uh, <laughs> that's how I feel about that right there. What was the last one right there, Danny? Uh, Love Actually. That's a Christmas movie. Yeah, happens during Christmas. Have you seen it? I think I want to say I have. It's, it's like been a, a, it's been a while. Who's in it? Everyone. Uh, oh. Dude that played in um, Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. Michael yes. Caine. Yes. Oh, Michael Caine. <laughs> Caine. <laughs> What's it, Lincoln, uh, Andrew Andrew Lincoln? Andrew Lincoln. Yes. He was Andrew in that. Lincoln. Um, you also had um, also the main dude, uh, the girl from uh, Pirates Every, of the Caribbean. Yeah, the girl. and the guy, and the yeah. guy. Yeah, Johnny Depp. No, Bill Orlando Knight. Bloom. Orlando Bloom. No, the um, <laughs> the other guy, <laughs> the Davy, face guy, Davy Jones. Yes, yes, yes. I, I don't remember. Oh, the actor. I can't uh, oh, I see old dude Bill from <clears throat> the Underworld. Girl's name is Knightley, Kira Knightley. Mm-hmm. It was mm-hmm. Kira Knightley, and then the old guy. Yeah. Um, and and the whole thing is is all these different like stories play out, and it's the whole story is love actually exists, but it's all during Christmas. So in different scenarios and how it actually exists, and you're just like For sure is oh. that everything? <laughs> I think that's everything, man. Is that everything right there? everything no what christmas movie wise yeah that was all the christmas no, movies um, like it didn't even those, mention national lamp no 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 no. this was just the top 10 from this particular list we can keep going we can but i about i think that favorite christmas movies uh yeah national lampoons is one that um like that one yeah let's talk about some that didn't make that list yeah that's what i'm saying Elf? like this isn't this isn't my list Elf, this is yeah. just, four christmases yeah Elf's four great. christmases Elf yeah. is fucking top notch man Love that shit. Bad or Santa. Yeah. Uh, it's turbo time. Yeah. Jingle all the Violent way. Night. Oh, more jingle current, all the way. More yeah. currently, Violent Night. That's a great movie. I haven't seen that. I want to watch that. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I want to watch it. I want to watch it on Christmas Eve. Yeah. I'm actually going to a buddy's house tomorrow. We're going to watch it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a great movie. So, um, favorite, favorite, what's your favorite, Rob? Christmas movie all time. What do you got? Give us a few. What was the tradition? Oh, you got the list. Uh, you got Elf. You got Scrooge. You got Christmas Vacation. You got a Christmas Story. You got fucking Die Hard. Yeah. Yeah. Just run the fucking gambit. Keep going. Play with. Put it on shuffle. You fuck up, and then it's just like, okay, next. You know what's surprisingly a good Christmas movie? Santa's Little Helper with the Miz. And uh, Paige, it's a WWE star cast when they were doing their own movies for a while. Uh, it's actually really good, it's pretty funny. It's a good family movie. That's adorable, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it surprised me because I was like, This is gonna suck, and it was just it was, it was all right, you know what I mean? As well as like, we won't tell anybody we watched it, but it was good. Do you guys do, you guys do the 24 hour marathon of? Christmas story and all that? Um, I'm not really too big on uh, like being super Christmassy like that. My wife and my kids are. It's more music than movies going around all day. It's like fucking Christmas songs just on repeat. All yeah, we do. Day. We do football all day. Yeah. Yeah. Presents football. <clears throat> what about you, Jess? I'm know usually that. on the road. Yeah. Because of different families. We go to my dad's house in Manhattan Beach on Christmas Eve. So driving back and forth between there to Upland and then I stop and pick up my oldest daughter in Kavina because she spends Christmas Eve with me but goes home and then is with her mom Christmas Day and comes over Christmas Day evening. So it's kind of like we don't have too many traditions to or the time to watch TV all day long but Christmas Eve we'll try and sneak in one movie before we all go to bed. We let the kids stay up 
till they pass out, and then during the day it's the National Lampoon Christmas Story mm-hmm. or Christification, yeah. and then we try to end the night with Nightmare Before Christmas, Polar Express. It's a good kids movie. We'll have to check it out. Yeah. If we have time, we'll watch Jack Frost because mm-hmm. that's a good kids movie. Otherwise, The Home Alone. Those are the only ones that will do one, two, and they watch three. <laughs> The kids aren't allowed. You're not allowed. All right. <laughs> Elf is normally what they watch in the car on the way going there. So, but that has to be watched. And the uh, Jim Carrey Grinch. Yeah. I don't know why Elf. I we always start watching it like on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, it's like, already been played like yeah. three times <laughs> at my house. What about uh, Eight Crazy Nights? So, oh, about? Adam Sandler. Yeah, the Adam Sandler one. That's it's, a good one. It's a cool cartoon. Yeah. yeah. It's more Hanukkah, though, right? Yeah, but I'll throw that one on because it's just yeah, kind of like it's the holidays. holidays. Yeah, it's that like, works. Yeah. It's all around the same time. Like, yeah. Yeah, man, you were talking about Christmas traditions and like <clears throat> kind of sucks because I feel like a lot of traditions that were held up in our family kind of stopped once my grandfather passed. Mm-hmm. He was always the one that was like, oh, no, everyone's getting together. My house, you know, it's Christmas Eve or Christmas morning, whatever it was. And, uh, so now it's just, it's more of like, I just make sure the kids had a great day, you know? We yeah. go, we visit, we visit uh, my mother-in-law, and then we go to my mom's. You know, we normally it's either one day for one and one day for the other. Yeah. We do Christmas morning at our house, just us and the kids, just us, like, in the household. And then from there, we'll go out and do all the fucking rounds. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. You got any Christmas traditions? Man, like I said, we... Typically now we do football. Um, when I was a kid, we always used to go to my grandma's house and, and do the whole deal, you know. Um, but other than that, you know, we're just watching uh, Christmas Story. We'll do, uh, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas. I, I Nightmare Before Christmas kind of makes the rounds in my house all year round for whatever yeah, reason. That's so one of those. Yeah. It's, a, it's something that just is on, you know, all of a sudden one time it's like, oh, they're, they're watching – and they'll just watch it for days on end, and then it kind of fades for a while, and then it comes right back. Can you think of another movie other than that one where it's like, hey, we could watch this on Halloween and Christmas? Yeah, that's... Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can't yeah. really think of another they, movie They like did that. a really good job at tying those, yeah. that, that whole kind of holiday season thing together. I think. Uh, you were talking about football. We used to have a, a Thanksgiving, like, turkey bowl with all, like, the cousins and stuff like that, my uncles. And that ended the year my dad broke his ankle. <laughs> We're playing, playing flag football. Nobody touched him. He just fucking, he kicked it. And he started running down the field and everyone started yelling at him. Hey, stop. It's We're going to play wherever it lands. And he didn't want to get a penalty called or something. So he like stopped really fast. And there goes his right ankle. The ball on the, the ball on one side of his foot went to the other side. Just went, whoop. He just had this big ass baseball on the side of his foot. <laughs> we never played football again. <laughs> we never yeah, played flag football again. Right, so that's the Traditions. Thing. Yeah. Also a good band. Check them out. So speaking of uh, bands, uh, Falling in Reverse, did you guys um, hear they had a, they had a show a topic. Yeah, go for recently it. that um, I guess uh, their singer, Ronnie Radke, Ronnie Radke, got up there and I guess kind of said, hey, you know, fuck you. We're not selling merch tonight if you're going to take a cut. And pulled their merch, so they weren't selling merch that night. And so now uh, he's talking about plans of starting up a festival that yeah. doesn't do that. So th- this is a great subject, the subject of venues taking a cut of the artist's merch. And I think that that will not change unless more people the caliber of this dude speak up about it. Right. Because, I mean... We go tell, you know, the fucking whiskey to fuck off because you're not going to take our whatever, you know? Who cares? You know, like, they're not going to, they're going to be like, okay, well, on to the next band, you know? So it's harder for smaller bands to try to take that stance yeah. without it, honestly, probably affecting where they can play in the future. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But it was, I, I, I got to say, you know, that guy's a pretty controversial, controversial dude. And... I don't agree with a lot of things that he says, right? But good for him for standing up for musicians. Oh no, this is, I mean, I feel like this, I feel like there's yeah. been some things he's he's talked about and said that I don't agree with. But um, besides that, besides that, I think that he's absolutely 100 percent right here. Yeah. And um, I've heard some people try to make the argument that 
you know, a venue should take a cut of that. And I, I saw people in, in comment section on some of these things talking about like, you know, well, the venue should get a cut because they're selling the merch. And I'm like, I don't know if you know how this works, but I don't know too many um, bands that aren't, you know, at a certain level, they have a merch person. Oh, they have a merch crew. Right. Yeah. So, they, they have their people. Well, I mean, you go merch. to bigger, 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 you have a whole, you know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure, but yeah. like, even there's, there's a lot of bands that will travel with somebody who does their merch or it's the band doing it. And there are venues that offer uh, bands, you could set that up. And in that case, I think, yeah, if the venue's having a person there having to stand there and do it, yeah, they should get a cut. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, it was a local radio uh, show that was, it was like a kind of like an acoustic Christmas type deal thing, but it was for not acoustic, obviously. <laughs> I don't remember the, uh, the radio station it was, but I um, love that he took the time. He's like, before I say this, mm -hmm. I want to stress this has nothing to do with this radio station. This radio has been nothing but great to us. This has to do with the venue. Right. And they want to take 25%. That's a, dude, that's a big ass, especially for a band like Falling in Reverse. That's a lot of money, dude. That's, yeah, it's a big chunk. And yeah. bands of that caliber still don't make a lot of money on their streams. So that, well, that's, that's their, you, that's their living. After you pay for, yeah. Um, rental for gear, and I'm not just talking like talking consoles, other gear. It's that stuff adds up. Paying sound guys to tour with you, that all takes money, you know. And if you're not a, uh, you know, if you're not ma if you're getting 25 percent out cut out of your merch, that's yeah, that takes a, a big a hit, great. you know. Yeah. But how do you feel about that, Josh? Venues taking percentages of merch cuts. <laughs> I agree with you with the whole, I don't think they should take it, but nothing's going to change. Yeah. And especially with the whole COVID situation that happened, they're playing off the, well, the venue needs to still even break even. And if they're not drawing the crowd to come to pack the place, they're going to take the money from someplace else. Yeah. I don't think they should, but it's nothing's going to change. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Rob? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. You know? I'm fucking just chilling. I'm just. What do you think about uh, band venues taking cut of I, merch? You know, I think at that point you're just selling your shit in the parking lot at half price and yeah. fuck those. He literally guys. said, and pretty much that's sell it, what, you buy it online. Yeah, like, yeah, that's pretty much. He pulled it and you, said, "We're not doing merch." Listen, tonight. if I'm if I'm trying to sell my fucking product, I'm gonna take the benefit, not you. Like, quit trying to scam off me. Like, that's just somebody like. Oh, wait, hey, I can make a dollar here. Like, hey, you owe me a dollar. I don't owe you shit. You go do this. You thank you for letting me play inside your place. Fuck this guy. I'm out. Like, well, and the whole contracts in these shows are a lot different than, you know, some people may not know, but, you know, there's, there's a big difference in a band that, you know, a venue knows is going to sell out and there's a guarantee. And it's like, I worked at a venue that was real easy to do the math on because it was a thousand person venue and it was a really reputable known venue. And so we would sell out and there would be bands that came through and thousand people, $40 a ticket, there's $40,000. I would see bands come through that venue all the time that they had a $40,000 guarantee on the night. And so at that point, it's like, sure, I mean, this venue's going to take a cut of the merch. We're getting 40 grand for the show, you know, and, you know, some bands don't have that. It's a, you sell out this much, you're getting X amount, you hit this, you know, there's, there's incentives there to push for promoters mm -hmm. to bring more people in and all kinds of things that, you know, venues at that level do. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's sucks seeing that, you know, Certain bands at, at different levels, I feel like, really get dicked pretty hard. Oh, on when sure, you're dude. when you're a band in a van and a trailer, and you don't have a fucking place to shower, you know what I'm saying? And you have a Planet Fitness membership, yeah. and you're showering there, and you're fucking living off fast food, and you know your your next your next show depends on if you can make X amount of dollars in your merch. Mm -hmm. And then the, they come in and say, and then it's like, well, we have to get gas. So now we're not fucking yeah. eating, you know? So yeah. it's rough, dude. That's a, yeah, it makes it really difficult. And I get it. Venues, it's tough. So it's like you said, I'm, it's, you know, who's, where do you budge? Is there any, is there any way you could budge that they'll do? I don't know. I saw that some bands they'll do like, it's basically your online order. You're picking up what you already ordered. 
like you're not technically selling it there. You're just so you just void it. You you're just picking it up at the table because you already paid for it over your phone or whatever the type deal thing. So, so the financial transaction happened elsewhere. Yeah, for sure. So I'm gonna do it. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Good for him though. I'm I'm glad that he's sticking up for other bands like that. We got well, like, yeah. We got well, like I mean, minutes. in it, if I think it, I mean, if you were to ask, I'm pretty sure if you were to ask him the dollar amount, I'm pretty sure his answer would be like you said, with a band like that level, it's he would probably tell you it's pretty fucking significant. You yeah, know? for sure. Yeah. So oh, nice. Yeah. You want to go with your hot take, Rob? <laughs> it's time for hot takes, hot takes, hot takes. Santa's North Pole is just a glorified sweatshop. <laughs> true. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine, dude. Santa. Just Santa's, Santa's fucking sweatshop getting raided. Everything, everyone, movie. everyone, everything, everything, everything that anyone could ever possibly want. He's got to make and get it delivered. And here you go. This is what you got. Somebody thought you deserved this. Here you go. They put this much effort. And here you go. Everything. The light touches. Is our key. It's from the North Pole. Let's go with this. All right. <laughs> Let's just go with this. Dude, I don't know. Is a, a sweatshop technically means there's kids working there? Yeah, but elves are they? Elves, elves are they've been around no, for thousands of years. No, it means dude. it's just like a whole bunch of fucking labor, and you're just like sweatshop can just mean just being just overexerting people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just okay. overexertion of just like your operation. Elves, elves on chains, dude. Your just operation. Like, so as soon as the cameras go away, Santa's like, get to work. <laughs> He's just cranking all the elves. Takes off his shirt. All He's all tatted up, dude. It's all fucking. <laughs> the, the camp film crew comes in. He's like, hey, everybody. Hey, check this out. Uh, these are my friends. Yeah, say hi, friends. Hello. So, <laughs> they're back to work. Uh, what about, dude, speaking of like something like that, there's always that fucking about Willy Wonka. It's just like, it was just murdering kids in his fucking warehouse and singing about it. <laughs> like the whole fucking movie. Like, what the fuck, dude? He didn't kill him. <laughs> Pretty sure that kid that went in the tube died, dude. None of them were dead. Yeah, no. Are you sure? None of them were dead. They all walked out at the end. The even the little kid that went into the fucking tube. I think yeah. in the original, the chocolate yeah, tube? they all, yeah. Well, Augustus, well, yeah. Wasn't wasn't the girl the uh, the blueberry and they stretched her out and she came out almost like a slinky? Didn't they do something like that? I mean, that sounds pretty bad, though, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, torturing kids. Bro. <laughs> hey, but you did it. You fucked up. Like it's. <laughs> it's your fault. Isn't that kind of, isn't that kind of like the plot to Saw? Like it was no, the original. It's, like, it's the whole yourself. story line to life. Like that's the whole shitty part about it. It's like life can hand you something really shitty at any moment, at any point in time, and you're just like, "Fuck, that's how I got to deal with it." Sucks. Sorry. Yeah. My condolences. This hurts. Let's move on. You know. You want to do one more? What do you got? This one says, vaping is worse for you than smoking cigarettes. Um, I can see why they would, that would be a take. I would, yeah. It's funny because most people are like, (laughs) most people are like, I'm going to fucking buy vapes so I can stop smoking (laughs) cigarettes. And then majority of the time, those people just end up with a pack of cigarettes and a vape in their pocket. Hmm. (laughs) The last time I quit smoking, I did it on the the gum. Mm Mm-hmm. And I was I was working a music venue and I was a fiend, you know. And uh, I quit. It sucked. Yeah. Finally knocked it out, and I'll never go back. <laughs> what you got, Josh? We didn't do a poll, right? I think so. <clears throat> this, we, a poll well, this could be a poll. Netflix is better than Hulu. Oh no, dude! Not today. I feel like not much goes on on Netflix anymore, dude. Other than like the few. <clears throat> What do they have? Stranger Things? I literally get my subscription back to watch Stranger Things and then that's it. If you watch a lot of documentaries, there's a lot of newer stuff on Netflix because of okay. that. But I also watch a lot of European shit. Mm-hmm. So I have a lot of British stuff that like wouldn't probably come up on your fucking radar at all. <laughs> that's new. 
So there is some new stuff that they've been putting up, but it's not very commercialized for viewing. Yeah. So it's always the click like you like this and we'll recommend more. It's all that shit because you clicked you liked it. Well, then all of a sudden, here's this whole folder of shit that you didn't even know was available. Yeah. But if they die, has my interest. Let's watch this. <laughs> yeah. I, I love using Hulu just because I like watching, like Workaholics is on it. I'll just fucking go through that, you know, Bob's yeah. Burgers, whatever the fuck. So they have a, tons of, if you're more of like an episodic TV person, Hulu, yeah. Hulu's, the, Hulu's the place to be. Right. You know, what about you, Rob? Oh, I'm definitely a Hulu guy. Uh, oh, damn. Uh, I'm surprised you were there on that one. Go no, ahead. No, I'm definitely, no, I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, this is where we're going with this Hulu or Netflix. Like, Netflix really only has me for Squid Game and the Squid Game Challenge. Like, that's I the only... I watch that. Yeah. Now- like, that's the only thing that's really holding me on to Netflix. Like, I don't get to see Ruby Rose in Orange is the New Black anymore, but I could still go back and watch old episodes. Thank you, Netflix. Um, <laughs> um, but Hulu... Hulu has like everything else. It's got all the cartoons for kids, like Futurama and fucking Rick and Morty. Like they should be watching, right? And then uh like your adult swims are all on pretty much Hulu. Um the thing that sucks is now you have to pay per channel. The each streaming service is uh-huh. essentially a channel. So now we're watching TV and paying for each fucking channel wow. as opposed to cable because yeah, cable is so it. horrible. Is I still technically have and you're just like, movie. God damn it. Well, you, know, you know, the part that I want to get rid of is that, you know, like if you want to watch this show, you got to have this one and you want to watch this, you got to, okay, so you got to have what, three or four or some shit, right? The problem I have is like, okay, cool. It sucks. You got these subscriptions. But then I have these subscriptions and I have an account and I have a fucking password and it's just a fucking nightmare. You know what I'm saying? I hate it. I I would love to just be able to like, hey, here's a fucking overall and you fucking pay just here. Yeah, man. Everyone's like, let's get streaming services because it'll eliminate the cable bill. You add all those motherfuckers up. Yep. You're sometimes paying more than a cable bill. Yeah, like I said, you know, depending on what shows you like. I mean, it's just, yeah. You know, you have kids, so what do you do? You get this, you have that, you know? Yeah, kids love Hulu as well. You got Bluey on it and shit. Actually, Bluey's on the Disney Channel now. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I just don't want all the fucking accounts for yeah. 20 different things. It sucks. Any last words, gentlemen? We're going to wrap this up right here. Let's wrap it. You guys, this has been the Last Days of Warcast. We are the Last Days of War. Please check out all the links in our bio. You can subscribe there to everything. We appreciate you. Talk to you later.